Well, it really is a mountain for everyone, and the kids are here, the families are here as well. There's so much to see and do. The kids zones, plenty of merchandise on offer for all of your favourite teams, manufacturers, drivers as well. There's rides. Of course, they've come from all over the country for this annual expedition to Mount Panorama. A chance to grab an autograph from some of the stars of V8 supercars and a little ice cream as well. It's been good weather for it. Brad Jones, a noted ice cream eater, is alongside me for this Touring Car Masters race. We'll have a look at the grid. It is a reverse top 10, Bradley. So we are set for a bit of action. Should be fantastic. Notice a couple of things in that shot that I like. Cash would be one of those. <laughs> Here is how the order will line up. And the way that it's been reversed, they did have a race late yesterday afternoon. John Bow taking the win in the Mustangs. So you see there uh, the reverse. It's actually the top 10 that's been reversed. So John Bow will start from position 10 for what is set to be a really good race. They had a, a safety car plagued race yesterday, so hopefully they get a chance here to really get rolling. Cam Mason will start from pole position. He's been here before in a Datsun 1600. Um, he's not here in a Datsun 1600 this time. He's in a Mustang Fastback, so he's managed to beef it up a little bit. Uh, here's what happened yesterday in TCM. They had a little bit of a drama. This was at the top of the hill. In the background, cars involved, cars off the road. Brett Yulden in the green Monaro, Andrew Fisher in the Falcon. That's Brett saying, uh, He's not what, a happy camper what was that all about? Yeah, exactly. And Bill Pye in the red Camaro was also involved as well. So it's take two for TCM for the weekend. And with those sand pits, once you're stuck in it, that's the end of the game. That's, uh, that's about the only good thing about when it rains. A bit of moisture in the sand pit, usually drive through them if you're really careful, but uh, daylight, days like today, you are stuck. Of course, today, Bradley, is all about the top 10 shootout. It's live on 7 today, 5 p.m. You are an excited man. I can see you're jumping around because you've got three cars, all three in the shootout. You are a happy man. I've not seen a smile that big on your dial for a long time. No, very happy man, and hopefully we can, uh, we can, you know, I just rule. It'd be great to be on the front row. I'd love that. I won't deny it. Pole position would be fantastic. But we're uh, just just want to get a good starting spot. Well, let's see how these guys go with their starting spot. Touring Car Masters, old school racing at Mount Panorama. It's got a great history here over the last few years of having a great variety of winners. So it's Cam Mason on pole in the Mustang. Brad Tilly, the big green Falcon, is back this weekend. It's been a winner here before. Jason Gomesall in the Tirana. Jimmy Richards in the Falcon Sprint. We're on board with Kim Jane. Double duty this weekend for Kim in the Utes and in the Falcon XPGT. Unleash the grunt to turn one. And look at this. Mark King straight down the inside on Jason Gomesall to turn one. It's a really big TCM field this weekend. And they're three wide through turn one. I, I don't know what happened to Gomesall because uh, I was just admiring that car. It's a beautiful little trip down memory lane. And he certainly got a fight up now, but it just didn't quite get off the line the way he would have liked. It's going up the hill pretty good, though. It's certainly got some ponies. Plenty of ponies from that car. Built and run by Matt Stone Racing. Jimmy Stone heavily involved, but it's Brad Tilly to the lead of the race. There's Keith Kasuki in the silver XBGT. John Bauer trying to work his way through the order. He's trying to get past Andrew Medecki at the moment. Now, that's a really important move for him because... Medecki is also one of the fast guys on the circuit, and he'll be very keen to keep John Bow behind him. First lap in on board with Kim <laughs> Jane. Look at the back of that Camaro move around. Oh, that is so, so close across the top on cold. His little arms have begun like bees' wings <laughs> in that Camaro, trying to keep that thing Whoa, on the black stuff. Look at Tilly. Tilly. Sideways. Loses the lead to Cam Mason. Lucky up in the fence. He's got a drive. He's got a problem. I'd say something's broken in the rear end of that car. That's certainly what it looked like. So he's just, uh, either that or he's just sort of gathering it up, not knowing what went on. They've pulled some big days and big hours and long nights to get this car rebuilt and ready for this weekend at Bathurst. Well, it seems OK, but it really looked like something might have broken in the rear end, and then he got off the throttle, so we uh, we thought he was in a bit of trouble, but I think he was just adjusting the seatbelt, and now he's back on it again. And have a look at this thing in a straight line. It's got some serious power as they unleash on Conrod straight for the first time and on he... board with Kim Jane. Have a look at how much grunt this thing's got. That's Mark King in the Camaro up in front. Out of breath. Rev limiter. Oh man, that's never fun. <laughs> and but going he's going to have a go anyway. Why not? Gaps open, Falcons through. For Kim Jane, charges on by. Nephew, of course, of Bob Jane, the winner of 
the inaugural Bathurst 500 back in 1963 in a Cortina that was much, much slower and much, much, much smaller than what Kim's driving right now. And what's interesting here is John Bell and Andrew Medecki really haven't made any ground at all. In fact, they're struggling. There they are, just the back of this queue now. Bow goes for the lunge on Medeki. That's for ninth place. Got it done. He's got to pass eight more, though, and he's only got six laps to do it in, but that Cabarro is pretty quick in a straight line. Replay of the rolling start. Watch the Tirana. Gomesal just doesn't get away. And then it was three wide there, three wide in the mid-pack. This is on board with the Tirana. Nothing, nothing really obviously glaring. It coughed and spluttered a little bit at the start, but oh, uh, look at that. how's that? Oh, ha, ha. They got away with it Seriously too. tight. And this is Brad Tilly's big moment from on board with Cam Mason. Check this out. Whoa. That'll get your attention. Yeah, that got his attention, but he gathered it up. And look, he's well known for sliding that thing around. So we just thought it was all part of the show, but he... Uh, <laughs> He's got it going again now. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a further drama. There it is. Running slow at the top of the mountain. A winner here a couple of years ago that worked really hard to get this car on the grid this weekend. And unfortunately, it's all come undone. So Cam Mason leads the way in this Mustang fastback. Jim Richards is the leader in terms of the chasers. Kim Jane were on board with his third. Greg Creek behind in the Charger in fourth spot. And then Mark King... John Bowne now is up to position seven. On board with Kim Jane, let's watch him wind this thing up. Look how long it sits on the rim limiter. Oh, oh, oh. And gets Man. past. I hope he's got a mouth guard in. He's he chipping his teeth, that thing would be rattling that hard. That's ridiculous. And he loses a spot to the charger of Greg Crick, of course, a veteran of 12 starts in the 1,000. It's almost like he hasn't got top gear. Well, he hasn't got third spot. He's lost that. There's John Bow, championship lead up. Remember, there's three battles in Touring Car Masters, the Pro Sport category, the Pro Am category, and the Pro Masters. This is the replay from outside of oh. the heavy going past, and Kim was in the grass. That didn't help. And I think it's fantastic some of the older drivers are in this field. Andrew Medecki, John Bow. This is the sort of thing Neil Crompton would be very good at. You reckon? Yeah. What in an Escort or a Datsun 1600? I think a Datsun 1600. What about a Gogo Mobile? Are they eligible? We could make one. Oh, that's a good fight. Cam Mason is still leading the way, but the man he's got behind him is a master. Seven times Bathurst 1000 winner, Jim Richards has got the pressure on. It's race two of Touring Car Masters. Come back to the mountain in just a moment. One hell of a time to come back to Bathurst because Touring Car Masters are turning on a masterclass of racing. Have a look at this. It is on. Jim Richards is leading the way, but behind Brad Jones, they are into this like a Royal Rumble. This has been unbelievable. It's a fantastic race, and John Bow right at the back of this pack looking for a way through. While we're in the break, Brad, change for the lead. Cam Mason in the Mustang, passed by Jim Richards in the Falcon Sprint. Jim a winner here twice in TCM before, and then this was further around the next lap. Greg Crick going for second spot. Oh, that's close. That's tight. Keith what? Kasuki tried to get a move off Kim Jane as well. Yeah. Which he eventually got, because here he is in front. The two big XP GT Falcons brings back memories of Alan Moffat, Fred Gibson, John Goss. Oh, oh. Right. So look at Kim going for the big move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. They got away with it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. It was always going to be a blue contact there. And this has opened the door for John Bow. Ah, oh, the old veteran just sneaking on through while they all carve one another up. And he's on his way through, John Bow. He started 10th, a reverse grid race from how they finished in yesterday's race one. And the resurface track this weekend, Brad, means also with the development of engines with these cars, they're going faster than they've ever gone before. John Bow here qualified in 2 minutes 19, which is unbelievable. 
and he broke our late great mate Jason Richards' record in the race yesterday. They're making some serious speed. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Kim Jane is missing a gear. Oh, oh bow sure sideways. Kasuki gets a run. So Kim, Kim Jane, Jane gets a run. They are really turning it well, on today. Well, give you an idea how hard they're driving. JB will come back under brakes here. Oh, no, oh it's too deep. Ahead. John now off the road, through yeah, well, the grass, through the sand. You don't see that very often. Made it out, though. He will survive to live and fight another day. Probably a little bit of frustration there because he's, uh, you know, you just think, you know, JB, you never see make a mistake. That's really rare. The reigning TCM champion, guy who's won the round here last year. So that opens the door for the rest of them. Jim Richards leads the way from Greek Creek. Cam Mason is doing a stunning job. He's still third. I've got a feeling that these guys, wow. if they keep fighting with one another, they won't get to him. And we've still got two and a half laps of racing left to go in the second race of three for the weekend for Touring Car Masters. This is the category that reminds us where we've been. It's all about thundering V8 at the top of Mount Panorama. Oh. Kerry McMahon, Tirana in the fence at the cutting. SLR 5000. Oh, Brett Yildon there, Yildin. smoking as well. Not a good day for the green machines. And that is not how you reverse park at Mount Panorama. No, let's, uh, that, that potentially could bring out a safety car, so. And that'd be a shame because this has been a oh, stunning race. Guys. Absolutely great stuff. If your heart rate was high about the shootout later on, I reckon it's gone up another couple in this one. I don't have any cars in this one. It's not so bad. It <laughs> doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> All seriousness, though, how excited are you? All three cars at the shootout this afternoon. Here's your old driver, your old teammate, JB, turn one. No way he was going to make no. it in there. And then it was all about making it out the other side. Get through the sand. Probably just trying to drag a bit of attention to the Wilson security <laughs> sign, who's one of his sponsors on the outside there. Oh, you're such a cynic. Just in too deep. Yeah, just in too deep. And, and really, I'm sure that's come out of a bit of frustration. Just hearing from Race Control, Brad, they will put the chequered flag out this time. So, Jim Richards, who else? He wins race two of TCM. Well done, Greg Crick. Home in second. Cam Mason, stunning job in the Mustang. It's still going in the backpack. It's such a shame. What a great race. The Kerry McMahon ended up off the road, of course. They decided to check and flag the race instead of put out the safety car. Andrew mediki has been off the road as well. I'm not sure how they're going to be ready for tomorrow. They've used up all of the action quite this afternoon. And he's got a steering problem. He can't turn that car, so he's just stopped there, it looks like. So he's bailing and has not even made it back to pit lane. So TCM will be back tomorrow as part of the curtain raiser to the main race. Well done, Jim Richards. What a legend. Seven times a winner in the 1,000. He wins again in TCM. John Bow did get to the line. He got through the sand and finished eight. Tony Karafalovsky's Mustang Knight and Paul Freestone's Camaro rounding out the top ten in the NZ Touring Car Masters. Round six of their championship this weekend at Mount Panorama. It's a shame for Andrew Medici. He's one of the legends of motorsport and Shannon's legends of motorsport. The marathon tomorrow morning, 1am through to 7am on 7, mate. All the stars of Australian motor racing with Neil Crompton. Fantastic series. Love bringing it to you. What a way to get you ready for the main race tomorrow. Of course, when it finishes, swap across to 7 to enjoy a massive day at the Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000. We'll draw breath when we come back. Porsche Carrera Cup hits the mountain. Well, happy Bathurst Day. You are waking up to a glorious morning at Mount Panorama, and we are looking forward to a fantastic day. Right, we're all set for the start of the Touring Car Masters, the third and final race of the weekend for them. Time to join our commentators. It's good morning to the legendary Dick Johnson and Aaron Noonan. Oh, Barrett's happy Bathurst Day to you. We are ready to run. Look at the fans. They have staked their claim, DJ, for a spot on the fence. Let's get it started. Touring Car Masters, final race of the weekend. Greg Crick in the Charger up the front with Keith Kasuki. Jim Richards and John Bow, the two men who've won the two races so far this weekend. 
little uncharacteristic yesterday, though. JB through the sand. Mate, he, uh, he said he ran out of talent. <laughs> ran out of brakes at 2-1-2 exactly. there. He went straight on through. It is a big field. There's a great variety of cars. Six different brands, 20 different models represented in Touring Car Masters this weekend. We've lost a couple of cars from the races so far, but we are looking forward to this one. Old school racing, V8 muscle on the mountain. The fans are ready, we're ready. We'll get it started when we come back to Mount Panorama. Well, this is what they're racing for today, the Peter Brock Trophy. This is the slightly smaller replica version. You can have your own Peter Brock Trophy. There is the website details on your screen. And, of course, Peter Brock Lithogram, nine-time champion of this race. Details on screen there, 72 right through to 1987. Includes a certificate of authenticity and also a piece of his jacket, Peter Brock, from his last Bathurst here in 2004 with the Holden Racing Team. It is a fantastic morning wherever you're watching. It is great to have you with us because it is time to go Touring Car Masters Racing. Dick Johnson is alongside me. We're going to have a rolling double file start here. Greg Crick in the Charger is on pole. It's been a big week for Cricky. He had his 60th birthday and he could get a Mopar win today. Well, that would be absolutely fantastic. But, you know, bear in mind that uh, Cricky's probably one of the youngest in the field anyway. So. <laughs> careful, careful. That will get back. He's on the front row with Keith Kasuki, who actually had some contact with Andrew Medici in the last lap of yesterday's race. We saw Andrew's car with the right front hanging off and that's going to be investigated after this weekend. They're going to get through this race, deal with that later on. We'll be on board with Jason Gomesall, but this is a really good way for us to remind everybody where we've come from as to where we're going with the main race this afternoon. Exactly right. And these cars now are very reliable and they are also very, very fast. Isn't they? They're a lot faster than when they were here as the touring cars going back many years ago. In fact, John Bauer qualified in 2 minutes 19. I remember you know, what, 20 years ago, that was a pretty hot Sierra time or well, something along those lines. Certainly the XD Falcon. Yeah. Was... <laughs> if you could do a 19 in that, you would have been very happy. Absolutely. S safety cars peeling off, we're good to go. Charger and Falcon on the front row. Jim Richards and John Bow on the second row of the grid. Nine Bathurst 1000 wins between them. What a sight. The muscle cars are on the mountain. Great mix. Chargers, Falcons, Mustangs, Camaros, Tiranas. There's even a pacer in there, a Chevy Monza in there, a Ford Escort. He's a brave man, Phil Showers, down the back of the field. Now we get on the loud pedal, go to turn one, away we go. For a big day of racing at Mount Panorama, Greg oh. Brick leads Mark King. King, locks up the Camaro, but makes it through turn one. Well, and that's the way it's got to be, because these cars really, with cold tyres, cold brakes, uh, rolling start, they arrive at the first corner a lot faster than what you would with a standing start. On board with Kim Jane in Sydney's cheapest cars, Falcon, but it's Cricky, Tasmania's finest, leads the way. Another Tasmanian second, John Bowers made a great jump. He certainly has. And actually, it's probably a bit early for Bowie this time of the day. <laughs> of course, it's 20 years since you and JV teamed up for that great win. In 1994, that's the retro livery that Stephen Johnson and David Wall will carry in this afternoon's big race. On board, Jason Gomesall, the SLR 5000 Tirana. But I reckon there's a few people who are still a, a little sleepy from a big night at the top of the mountain. They're about to be woken by the thunder of touring car masters across the top for the first time. Yep. They'll be getting woken all right, and also the smoke around from all the fires that they have there, campfires. Greg Crick leading John Bow, Jim Richards, Kim James, Keith Kasuki. Yellow flags here at the top of the mountain. Drivers on edge, drivers being warned. There must be something happened earlier in the uh, on the first lap. Green flag there, so it's race on from here. And I tell you what, when they get to the straight, they are really making some power. Did some numbers earlier in the weekend. Some of the fastest cars are touching 285 kilometres per hour. That is not far off. That's maybe 5 to 10 kilometres per hour down on a V8 supercar in race stream. Well, you've got to realise too that the brakes on these cars aren't like a V8 supercar either. They're quite a bit smaller because they've got to fit in with, in the wheel size, etc. So it's a, it's a huge speed to be doing for these cars. 
down to the chase for the first time. John Bauer putting the pressure on. Greg Crick. Crick, look at Jason Godmissel. That white Tirana is in so deep in the background. Yesterday's second race of the weekend was probably the best one I've seen in TCM for a long time. And it looks like the cars are really evenly matched. You've got such a mix. A Charger, a Mustang, a Falcon Sprint, and a Falcon Hardtop. Yes. Four completely different cars all together on the road. Yeah, well, they're all very similar in engine size and things like that. So horsepower-wise, they're all very similar. Change the lead. Yep. Bow down the inside. Yeah, it doesn't take him long. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a feeling, 20 years ago, this time 20 years ago, he was not happy with you. It was wet before the start of the main race, and you made him start the race. Well, well he who has the goal. You know. <laughs> when your name is on the team, yeah. but he's leading at the moment. Greg Creek, second. So still Tasmania, one and two. They've just swapped the order around. And Jim Richards in that Falcon Sprint, it's got a smaller engine than the cars around him, so he needs to get to the front early and then try to stave them off. If he's in the middle of the pack, he's going to struggle up and down the hill. That's where a lot of time is made up around this circuit, is obviously uh, across the top of the mountain, and that's where Bowie is, is really good. He's had plenty of practice around here. Yeah, true, he? true. Has been around, has done it a few times over the years. 23 starts for John Bowie. The back is 1,000, two wins and six podiums. He is a legend of the sport. And that's what this category is all about. The legendary drivers, the legendary cars. And over the top. Cannot get over, DJ, how good the weather's been here for... This is the fourth day in a row. It's the best I've ever seen, to be quite honest. And I've been coming here, I think I've been here about 50 times. So. <laughs> We've got a good... This weekend on board with Kim Jane in the big XB GT. Now this thing has got some legs, but it's rev limited to 7,200 RPM. Hence why he kind of gets on the rev limiter quite early before the chase. Well, and, well, the V8 supercars, you know, get on the on the rev limiter sometimes, but uh, you know, to be on the rev limiter in something like this is, uh, you know, damn well you're fair honking. Listen to this. Yeah. That's a bit of a lift. On the oh, way in, big lockup up in front. Oh. Major drama down at the chase. So the pressure is on now. Greg Crick right on John Bow. He's got a problem. Oh, Bowie, right front tire. tire. Right front tire is gone for John Bow. He has to go to the lane. The big lockup has popped the Hoosier. And Mustang Sally is off to the lane. Mate, you've got to get all this. It's broken the front suspension. Yeah, it's done more than just the tire. It's smashed away at that right front guard. Actually, that could have been some of the contact he had yesterday, which has done something to the car and, and obviously hasn't shown up until just now. Wow, so that is big in terms of the Touring Car Masters Championship as well, not just this individual race. That certainly would have got his attention, I can tell you. Have a look at this, on the way into the chase. Yeah, uh, something broke. Right front's cooking. Like, he's, he's done a good job to pull it up. But you can see there it's there. Yeah, there's already. something. No, the tyre's not flat but he's broken something in the suspension. Bumping yeah. and jumping around. There's a bump with a damper maybe or something in the suspension there, yeah. but either way, it's ruined John no, Bow's chances. something wrong with the suspension, I wouldn't be worried too much about no, changing the wheel. I don't think that's really going to help, is it? No. So back to the front. Oh, problem here, Jason Gomesall slowing at the cutting. And it looks as though Kingy's uh, obviously had a bit of a it had a bit of an altercation or something with the, the left front. The Donaldson's obviously uh, missed the gear or something. And yeah, he's picked it up now. And, and ended up with a gearbox full of neutrals. Yeah, he's got it rolling. This is the Tirana that actually Jimmy Stone helped put together. Uh, this is another angle. You can see yeah, the, there. See the front wheel? Yeah, it's not going There's how it something be. not hooked up there. He's done a good job just to make it around yeah, the corner. He's, he's done a great job, you know, and that's where experience comes in. So it gives the lead to... Not a good place for it to happen either. Uh, like no, it's... no, there's no such thing as a good place at all. But Greg Crick gets the lead back. Jim Richards in second now from Kim Jane, but that's uh, that's day done for JB. Well, pretty much, you know, he's not going to in seven. He's only another four laps to go. So, yeah, the poor bloke. Greg Crick was right there on the scene to see it all in that Chrysler Charger. There is Crick leading Jim Richards. Second spot, Kim Jane. Next, we jump on board the BXB GT. This is the car that Eddie Abonisa normally drives. Kim jumping in to do double duties, running the Utes this weekend as well. 
And now he's on the back of Jim Richards for second spot. Well, this is where yeah, this is where the the power that the oh. Falcon will come in because he he obviously. Uh, Jimmy's only got the very small engine, the 289 engine, so he's obviously going to have a bit of trouble when he gets up the hill. JB's not giving up on this, he's staying on board. There's something else wrong there, though. Yeah. He's going to have to wait and watch, though. Greek Creek was a little wide, actually, on the run to pit straight while we're on board with Here comes Jane. the Falcon, look out. Here's the power of the XBGT. The Falcon sprint's light, though. That's it's the great light, thing yes, about it. It doesn't have as much power, it's but it's lighter. Power to weight ratio it makes a big difference. Doesn't hurt that it's got JR behind the wheel, <laughs> seven-time winner of the Bathurst 1000. Yeah, he was part of uh, a lot of the, the Brock wins around here in the in the, in the uh, 80s, 70s and 80s. Yep, three times in a row. Of course, he won with... Mark oh. Scaife, oh, look at this drama. Jason Gomez, well, that Tirana did have a fault a lap ago. Obviously, yeah. And now it's got a terminal one. I think it's gearbox related by the look of that. It hasn't got anything going, so another one down on that panorama. Tony Karakolotsky here in the that, Mustard Mustang. That is a beautiful car. When you see how it's been built, it's absolutely perfect. Glenn Seek had a lot to do with the development of the this car, Andrew Fisher, right behind the Jesus Falcon, back in the category this weekend. And in behind him is Bill Pye in that number seven Camaro, which looks exactly like Bob, Bob Jane. Jane's used yeah. it. It's not the Bob Jane Camaro, but could fool me pretty easily. And I think the Jesus Falcon had a problem uh, in one of the earlier races. I think three of them ended up in the, in the sand trap right, right there. there. Yeah, right there at the top of McPhillamy Park. Bill Pye was involved in that accident. Ah, now John Bow is going to go back out and see how this Mustang will be. Fingers crossed. At the back of this little queue is Cam Tilly in that giant killing, pacer. giant killing pacer. He actually was going to drive a, uh, a Monaro this weekend, but had a drama with it, so he swapped back to Old Faithful. Yeah. And he's giving these guys a real hurry up. Oh, I don't think that's JB, any good. JB, that's not right going to go anywhere, pal. Is no good. Yeah. That is the definition of major toe out. Yeah, there's something. Uh, whoop, it's... I'd park it. That's dangerous. Well, you know, the, the crew shouldn't have let him out, actually. There is what remains part of that right front hoosier, but there's more issues than what went on there with that tyre. So we'll have to take it very gently and take it back to the lane because there's no way. And the reality is you need to do 75% of the race distance to be a classified be a, uh, finisher. As a, a finisher, yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, it might all be in vain anyway. Andrew Fisher a little bit wide here, and this opens the door to Tony Karapolovsky to try to get through. Bill Pine out oh, yep. down the inside. Because the original Bob Jane car was a seven litre. Yeah, yeah, two-time championship winner in yep. uh, 71 and 72 before we had what became Group C regulations come on in. But really, yeah, 60s and 70s, if you didn't have an American muscle V8, you were nowhere. Absolutely nowhere at all. Paul Freestone in that great-looking 68 Camaro just up in front there. Got to love the mix of cars in this. This is fantastic. A, a great mix of drivers too from a variety of backgrounds, but the common passion is these cars. The cars are the stars of this category. Absolutely. And, and the thing is that these guys drive them. They drive them so hard. <laughs> Oh, well, you can't drive this one terribly hard at the moment because it's not pointing in a straight line. But John Bow's experienced. He gets out of the way. He knows the deal. This is still on here. Kim Jane's keeping the pressure on Jimmy Richards. Jimmy Richards, who, the over, the top, place, yeah. over the top, the Falcon's pretty good. Absolutely. And on the straight, he's got enough to hang on. But Creek Creek still leads the way in the charge. He won a race in the last TCM round at Sandown. And remember, he's been really sick this year. He, he has. was ill after the 12-hour hit earlier in the year where he drove like a star for Erebus in their Mercedes-Benz SLS against Mika Salo, the former Ferrari Formula 1 Formula driver. One driver yes. He got covered with upside poisoning. It really knocked him around. He missed a lot of racing, but it's great to see him back. He's one of the characters of Aussie racing. And up front, a Charger hasn't won in TCM here at Bathurst before. He might write some history today. Absolutely, because... Originally, all the charges and that was six-cylinder, but this one's got the, the 340 cubic inch V8 in it, and it's 
obviously makes a fair bit of uh, power, to be quite honest. Just a little. This is a good fight. Paul Freestone sits in eighth. Andrew oh, yeah, Fisher, Fisher goes for the big move. Gets done. Nice yep. job. Yeah. Whether it's long-lived or not, who knows? <laughs> But JB, there's no way no one he'd walk back to the pitch, I can tell you, mate. <laughs> oh, oh Fisher. Fisher's off. Lobster is. Keeps it out of the sand, but all that good work has been undone. <laughs> yes. It doesn't take much. And that opens the door now for Bill Pye to attack Tony Karapolovsky. This is down the tail of the top ten. You can see the uh, dent in the door there in the Camaro. It's not how it should be. No, it isn't. Hey, just quickly, how are you faring today? Two cars for Wilson Security Racing, Scotty Pye and Ash Walsh, David Wall and Stephen Johnson. How are you faring? How are you looking for today's race? Look, I think uh, the, the track itself has caught a lot of people out uh, over the past few days. And uh, where we're at at the moment is basically getting a car that uh, you can actually get a balance with because they've been... Uh, They've been all over the place, and even even some of the, the stars of V8 Supercars have, have had huge problems. And some of the guys in Touring Car Masters have just like this. You've got that dead right. Lock the rears. And they were famous for that, the, yeah. the, old, the XYs and that, with the, the leaf springs bouncing around like that in the rear. <laughs> they were bouncing there, oh, that's for sure. Back to the fight for second spot. Richard still has it. Kim Jane still wants it. I've got to quickly say, hey... 12 months time, Marcus Ambrose in a DJR Team Penske car here at Bathurst. That is a mouth-watering prospect. Well, next year's a learning year, so we'll see where it all goes from there. I know Tim Sidrick from Penske is here this weekend. What, what's his impressions of this race? He's been and seen it all, the Indy 500, the Daytona 500. What's his thoughts? They're super impressed. They really, uh, they really think that uh, this is something that uh, is unique in the world, this particular event. This is pretty unique here too because we've got a fight. Richards has hung on to second the whole way through, but Kim Jane now is launching one last attack because there's only a lap and to go. He's got one lap to one. go. Yep. They're not getting to Cricky. He's been able to get away. And actually, he's closer this time than he's been for a while too. Just got it a bit wide up over the exit curve. Of course, you'll notice a long pit straight different this year with that catch fence if it's been. Added to the, the roof fences, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but they've got roof fences all around the circuit now, which is you know, pretty good, really, because it was getting a little bit dangerous here a couple of times. And also to keep debris from cars and the yes. like away, look after all concerned here. Is the Ken charger Tilly, going down there? The charger was charging. <laughs> Kim Chain hasn't quite got enough to get close enough, and the Falcon sprint of Jim Richards oh, is good on the stop. Jim's a bit wide there. Here's a chance. And up here is no quite. That's through there is a, a difficult place to pass. I can assure you. It'd take a desperate. It'd take something a bit wild and willing to be able to get on through. Of course, Jim, his son Stephen lines up again today for a, another shot at a bath. There's three wins for Steve, seven for Jim, so it's ten for the Richards clan, and they could add another one today. Of course, Steve teams up with Craig Lowndes for Red Bull Racing Australia. This is not done with yet. Kim Jane throwing everything at this. He's a he'll bit wide. A, oh, I think he'll have a real good shot at the end of the straight as long as he gets on Jimmy coming through uh, through Forest Elbow. Off the top for the final time in Touring Car Masters. We've got a great support category lineup ahead of the big race, the V8 Utes, the Porsche Carrera Cup, and then of course the big one, the Super Cheap Auto Bathurst 1000. Final time for Touring Car Masters through Forest Elbow. Great trick. I reckon there's going to be a grin in that helmet right now. <laughs> I think that uh, Kim Jane will be doing everything he can when he gets down to the end of here through the chase. Final time down Conrod Strait. Pull top gear over the crest. Here he comes. Here he comes. Down the inside. Jimmy will be there. Gets it done. Now he's got to stop it for the chase. He's using every bit of the engine there too. <laughs> He's got it done, though. He's worked his way up to that one and pulled the trigger at the right moment, but it's Greg Crick. The Charger is going to get it done on the mountain. Welcome back to Mount Panorama. Greg Crick picks up the win well, oh. in the fighter race of the weekend. <laughs> Kim Jane threw everything at it, but a heavy has gone to the mountain. For the first time, that's fantastic. Well done, Greg Crick.
three different race winners from the three races for the weekend. Touring Car Masters, great variety. Andrew Fisher trying to fight back on the final lap. Gets a move on Tony Karafalovsky. Well, I'm glad you can pronounce that. <laughs> it's early in the morning, mate. <laughs> it is. Paul Freestone, Bill Pye, Andrew Fisher, Karen Falofsky, Cam Tilly, Kerry McMahon in that repaired Tirana after a crash yesterday. Well done, everybody involved. Touring Car Masters, a fantastic category. Love having it here at Mount Panorama. But well done, Greg Crick. Fastest lap of the race and a race win to round out the weekend. Kim Jane home next from Jimmy Richards, then Keith Kasuki and Mark King. Andrew Fisher routed out the 10. What a day. Massive day. Don't go anywhere. More from the mountain when we come back.